see how fast we can go. Currently doing throttle only. And it's still giving us power. We're going 29 miles per hour. What's really good, fam? It is your boy, David Brand New. Uh, back with another video for you. Uh, and today we got another banger video. That is because we have another e-bike to review. This one's gonna be by a brand called Aoster Motor. It's kind of a weird name, I'm not gonna even lie. This one is a 26 inch fat tire bike. It's gonna be like a mountain bike style. It's not gonna be a folding e-bike. I actually have an errand to run. I need to ship off a couple of these turtleneck stems. So we're gonna take this bike on its first ride. I don't even know any of the specs on this bike. We're just gonna see how much fun we can have on it while handling some business. All right, we'll see you guys in the video. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's get into the joint. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. I bring us no X. If you don't say it direct, I give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on my hand. I let it take an advance. She was an orange pan. All right, let's go ahead and hop on this bike turn it on do we have power what's going on we don't even have freaking power i know i charged the bike oh you need to turn it on <laughs> duh there we go all right so we have power the bike is on the screen i believe is a sw900 lcd screen the reason why i know this is because this is like the typical screen used when you're doing like a diy conversion and it's not going to be a color lcd but it is going to tell you exactly what you need to know it's going to tell you how fast you're going how far you're going it's going to tell you how many watts you're putting out which is dope it's also going to tell you how much battery you have in that battery it also tells you what pedal assist level you're in and what mode you're in so right now we're in eco it looks like the highest pedal assist is pedal assist 5 and when it's in pedal assist 5 it's in power mode currently in pedal assist 5 we're not going to waste you guys' time with this one we're going to see how fast this one goes we're not going to do a gps verified just yet Looks like we're putting out over a thousand watts, which is dope. Love to see it. One thing that I don't like about these uh, LCD screens is that when you're uh, using the throttle or the pedal assist, check out the battery level already. And the bike is fully charged, but for some reason on the screen, it shows that the uh, battery is already dropping, which is not true. It's like, it's almost too accurate. It's like showing every time you're drawing power from the battery. This one does have a cadence sensor. So all you gotta do really is just rotate the pedals and you got full power. See how fast we can go, non-GPS verified. Looks like we can easily hit 28 miles per hour. Love to see it. Looks like we can maintain 26 miles per hour, pretty good. All right guys, let's take a quick detour and take this off-roading real quick. I wanna test out this suspension. I'm getting a call. But we're busy, guys. Let's see if we can make this jump. Ooh, too easy. This one only has front suspension, like the previous bikes we've been reviewing. And it's pretty good. It's not like super bouncy, and it hasn't bottomed out just yet. So pretty good, pretty good in my book so far. Oh yeah, no go heads, no go heads. Here we go, let's go ahead and deliver these stems now, guys. Just wanted to see how she handled off-road. And it's pretty good. Whoa, that was a tricky one. This bike did come with fenders. I decided to take them off because I didn't like the way they look. To me, they look like Bugs Bunny ears. I've seen that type of uh, fender on other people's reviews and I've never really liked it. So as soon as I saw it on this bike, I knew I was taking it off. It also comes with a rear rack as well. And my personal opinion i think this bike just looks way better without the extras it almost looks like a diy e-bike especially because they use the uh the halong style battery instead of a uh, integrated battery within the frame it's definitely not a polished looking bike but uh it's performing pretty good though and would you look at that we made it to our destination let's go ahead and shift these stems i'll be right back all right guys business is taken care of let's go ahead and have some more fun on this bike i want to take it off-roading again here we go little path that i haven't been on in a long time jeez man it's like the early days of my channel it looks like we're still putting out more than a thousand watts we're gonna pull this bike over at some point and look up these specs pretty sure it's like a 750 watt bike though Woo yes
let's get some pedaling in a little bit currently have it in seventh gear and it is in pedal assist five when it's in pedal assist five you still don't run out of pedal it's pretty decent this shifter is not my favorite i'm actually going to start calling this the standard shifter i prefer the uh the uh, trigger shifter it's a little bit better than this one all right guys so we currently have the aoster motor website pulled up in front of us we're currently looking at the aoster motor s07-b electric bike it's a 26 inch by 4 inch fat tire bike comes with a 48 volt 13 amp hour battery guys this is a 750 watt motor and a seven speed shimano gear shifter like i mentioned earlier it does come with mechanical disc brakes this bike also comes with a headlight it does not come with a rear light the max speed on this bike is going to be 28 miles per hour and then the max range you're going to get on this bike is 35 to 80 kilometers i don't know how many miles that is but that's how many kilometers you're going to get out of this bike current price is 12.19 99 i think that's going to do it for the specs guys that is what you're going to receive when you order this bike let's go ahead and hop back on it and go back home it's been a fun ride so far we're going to take it up one more hill see how well it does we're going to take it downhill see how fast it goes i think that's going to be it for the first ride guys we're going to do throttle only on this hill currently have it in pedal assist five i'm pretty sure that the throttle is linked to the pedal assist number let's see how fast we go up this hill it's doing pretty good throttle only we're currently going 18 miles per hour this is non-gps verified by the way i'm not mad at it let's go ahead and mix in some pedaling see if that makes it any better looks like we're picking up speed going 17 miles per hour 18 miles per hour oh yeah this bike is eating this hill. Eating. All right, now we're gonna go downhill, see how fast we can go. Currently doing throttle only, and it's still giving us power. We're going 29 miles per hour. Let's let go of the throttle, see if we can go any faster. We are not speeding up, we're slowing down. Let's go ahead and pedal, see if we can speed up. See if we can go faster than 30 miles per hour, guys. Come on, we could do it. No, we can't, we're slowing down. So it looks like the max speed on this bike is 28 miles per hour, right out of the box. That's pretty good. That means it's a class three. I'm gonna take it back home, charge the battery up, and I'm gonna see if I can dive into those settings and make this bike a little bit more faster or a little bit more quicker, guys. That's gonna do it for this first ride. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Deuces like that. Yee!